Hi everyone, it's Simon from Higher Plane Games with a review of Glass Masquerade 2 Illusions. This is a direct sequel to Glass Masquerade, which came out on consoles a couple of weeks ago, but it's been around on PC for some time, and that's where I picked it up when it came out quite a while back. Really loved the original, I've got a review of it on my channel already, so I'm delighted that the developer sent me a copy to review of the second one, so thank you very much for that. Glass Masquerade 2 Illusions follows exactly the same principle as the original. This is stained glass jigsaw puzzles, essentially and it's all around the theme of different illusions and sometimes that works for the game and sometimes it works against. You've got no time limits or anything like that, you can just then like piece together these beautiful stained glass paintings um, or um, arrangements I guess, they're not really paintings, and um, yeah get that sense of satisfaction and achievement once it's all put together at the end. You have some beautiful stylized uh, arrangements to put together alongside some beautiful relaxing slash creepy music think evil dollhouse and you're part way there but it all comes together in this really um boutique like way it's old-fashioned slightly creepy i think like victorian-esque i just really like the aesthetic of the series and i hope that stays for the future however as it being a sequel, some things have changed, and sometimes they aren't always necessarily for the better, although I did like some of the improvements that have come along. The first one is around the theming of the different uh, arrangements. They're illusion-based, so where they're not no longer placed in like real-world settings and environments, sometimes I found it quite difficult to understand what on earth it was that I was putting together, and I didn't get that aha moment until really late in some of the puzzles, like the last couple of pieces. And that dramatically increases the difficulty because sometimes you're putting together things in terms of colours and what works well and what not doesn't work well together is instead of shapes. And so you're a bit like, hmm, I'm a bit stuck for a while. So I just sit and ponder for some of these puzzles to get through them. To combat that, though, there's a few things that have changed to make the game easier in other areas. The first one is that instead of having lots of different uh, sizes and shapes of puzzles, this time around every single one is circular. And I'm a bit miffed at that because I quite like some of the triangle ones or the weird shaped ones because it would give you a little bit of a head start. So again, increasing the difficulty. However, you do get eight drag and drop ones into each every uh, puzzle that comes up that's kind of on... I, I want you don't get corners in a circle but it's like dotted all the way around the edges um equidistant so that you can kind of drop in and then you've got something to hang your pipe pieces off of so that's always a good starting point however when i was getting stuck with the illusions that i was like i don't really know what i'm building and i feel a bit confused there's like a swirly ephemeral mist that's going around all of the uh, pieces of stained glass and actually just like a whirlpool the further out you are the faster the water's going when it's kind of getting towards the middle then it's slower and more steadier and you can work out kind of where a piece should be based on how fast and in what direction this piece of whirlpooled stained glass is going and i found that actually that was sometimes the easier way to go about solving a puzzle than to actually look at the puzzle itself um did that really affect my time of Glass Masquerade? No, not at all. I thoroughly enjoyed playing it as a puzzle, but it did kind of make me think, why have they put this effect in? Is it because people were struggling to understand what these illusions were? <laughs> so, yeah, be interesting. Uh, who knows? That kind of uh, tactic, though, falls out of the equation if you're going to go on to hard mode. Uh, normal mode reorientates all of the pieces to the right uh, way up so that you'll just drag and drop them onto the... Uh, stained glass window so that you can just put them in at the right place. In hard mode though you need to reorientate it the right way so that uh, whirlpool mist only works for normal mode but that was really all that I played with glass masquerade. Uh, hard mode is too hard for me and I don't have the patience for it but if you want to get in and really get settled with it then I think you've got an extra few hours of fun here. There's 31 puzzles in all they can all be played on hard mode again afterwards if you want to. So there's plenty of longevity for the price. Glass Masquerade 2 Illusions is out now on PC. No word of a console release yet, but since the first one came over quite a long way afterwards, I'd hope and expect that it comes across to console at some point in the future too. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. This channel is just one of my many projects that cover games, music and film. 
If you enjoy any of these and would consider supporting me to develop further in the future, you can do so by visiting patreon.com forward slash Thank you for your time and for watching the video.